Ayuka Elementary School, there are some 500 K through fourth graders. That's one reason, said one school official, they use many teachers' assistants to help in the classrooms. Uh, because in the, in the lower levels, the assistants are extremely vital uh, to, to teaching and learning, and uh, they're going to be missed very much. Missed because newly appointed school district superintendent Christy Holly had to let some of them go recently. We have known over the past several years um, that revenue was not increasing. She says that without increasing, it's hard to maintain the district's physical plant and other needs. But state law requires that school districts have 7% of its maintenance funds and reserves, which means, she says, that without the layoffs, they would have a hard time making that goal. Holly said they spend 77% of their budget on employees, which is where most of the district's money is spent. And she says they've cut where they can in maintenance costs. But now, it's down to employees. We have looked at non-certified personnel first and uh, we're, we're going to take what we can in that area to try to uh, gain as much money back as we can. She adds some teachers are taking retirement this year, which should help save some money, but she admits that the state legislature's failure to adequately fund the Mississippi Adequate Education Program has cost her district millions of dollars over the years. The legislature's putting out that we're, we're giving you more money than we ever have before, and on paper, they are. But she says that money will mostly fund teacher pay raises, not help with the day-to-day -day operations of buses and building repairs, and certainly not the reserve fund. Meanwhile, teacher's assistant Kim Spangler says it's the kids who will lose out in the end. The kids are not going to get all that they need because that one teacher will have to go from kid to kid to kid. And Ayuka Wayne Herford, WTVA News. But now we have... They have